Hey everyone, Zero JD here with the XBLA Fans Channel. Here we go, quick taste of Feather, a really kind of chill out game uh, where you fly around as a bird doing bird things like flying and s tweeting, calling, whatever you really want to call it, uh, doing barrel rolls and stuff like that because that's what birds do. You you know what's going on. You've been a bird at some point in your life. We all have, uh, whatever. Uh, but let's kind of see what's going on here. Right now I'm a macaw. Macaws can be jerks though. They can just scream at you for absolutely no reason. But like I said before, I can do barrel rolls and stuff like that. I can do U-turns. Uh, once in a while, you'll encounter other birds and they'll they'll respond to you and stuff like that. But yeah, it's very much just kind of a chill game. Just kind of relax and fly around. Uh, very easy gamer score for those interested. Uh, some of them are like... Uh, get through an entire day-night cycle of the game, which is about 17 minutes or so, and that's probably the hardest one to get. So yeah, about maybe a 17-minute completion. Other ones are uh, land on something, find your nest, uh, fly through a cloud, stuff like that. Very easy, like eat a fruit while flying. But uh, you'll probably notice that when I'm flying around, there's these like uh, sort of circles you can fly through. These change the music. There are triangle ones that actually change your like what type of bird you are or like the colors of your bird and stuff like that. Well, the sun's going down. Yes, it's going down. Awesome. But yeah, very relaxed sort of game. Nothing is actually at all trying to kill you. Uh, even if you crash into stuff, they sort of rewind time for you. And if you uh, get yourself in a mess, the game will try its hardest and will get you out of that mess by uh, rewinding more and more. So let's say the first rewind is one second and you still mess it up. The second one will be like two seconds, three seconds, sort of a thing going on. I, uh, it's only ever had to rewind twice for me or like not rewind or like just kind of back you up Let's go. Let's go through this cloud over here Just a fluffy little cloud mm -hmm. oh, Don't worry. I'm not gonna keep doing that Oh, we're getting there It's actually an achievement to fly through a cloud Yes Uh, actually, you can notice the difference between the uh, the sounds the bird makes if you tap it. It's very much a higher pitch sound, but if you hold it, it's a lower pitch one. You get high enough, you go down. Oh, there's a triangle we can fly through. I can show you what I meant about changing. I've been like a crow before, some kind of other parrot, some kind of like ice bird thing. Oh, oh, great! I'm a seagull now. Awesome. I think certain uh, of those triangles will uh, turn you into a like specific bird. Uh, but there's this island, and there's another sort of ice desert island. We'll we'll go visit it, visit it. But first, we're gonna go check this out real fast. Yeah, now we're gonna dive. Down we go. Oh, where's the island? It's over there. We're cool. Such such a soothing game. Something that you want to play if you want to just kind of chill out, or if you just want some really, really easy gamer score. All right, let's go in here. Oh. Oh, recovered. We're good. We're good. Uh, there are also these sort of, um, these things around the island, if you, you can light them. I don't know exactly what they do. I'm curious what might happen if you light them all. And down here is a weird old portal that activates when you get close to it and then teleports you to the other island. Some pretty relaxing music. Lots of triangles. Like, look at them. They're everywhere. There's some. There's another one down there on the bottom left. There's another one. I don't know what civilization built these things to be activated by birds, but maybe it was advanced super birds? The guys from uh, Wind Waker, maybe? Like, in Wind Waker, are they allowed to be anything except postmen? Is is that, like, do you have to be a postman because you have the wings and stuff like that? Who's writing all the letters? There's, like, three large civilizations, I think. No, four, because it's your starting island, that weird island with those kids who circle around you, the postman island, and then the uh, tree island. And then they have the other islands, like, scattered about. What is this bird? Is this the macaw? Oh, no. 
like a red robin sort of thing. Why are we chaining down stuff? Why are we chaining down? Oh. I don't know what that is, but that's something you, like, someone evil would want to, like, take. Can I land on this? If I can't land on this, I'm going to be disappointed. I can. Excellent. All is well. That's an achievement, just to kind of land on any something. You can go underwater. Let's actually go do that. Also, there's a tanker right there. Of course, the uh, uh, deserted island with a tanker crashed on it, cliche sort of thing. Because you can't have an island without a tanker on it. Mm -hmm. Palm trees. I do like that this island goes from like, sort of like, beach to desert to ice area. There we go. Yeah, I like the uh, the one with like the uh, guitar earlier. How did these get over here? So got some drilling equipment there. It almost looks like the ice erupted out of something. So maybe they, maybe they drilled too greedily and too deeply. There's a thing. Can I go through this thing? Just just lots to explore. No, can't go through there. So I'm holding right trigger right now to go faster. I can hold left trigger to slow down, and that's how you land on stuff. So what would happen if someone, and I know this is out of, like, nowhere. What happens if someone goes to, like, the top of Mount Everest, starts a snowball, and just kind of rolls that? Like, does that just turn into a giant big old snowball, or does it, like, stop at some point? This is the stuff that keeps me up at night. It's like, last night I lost sleep because I'm like, who would have thought of toasting bread after they've already cooked it? What else have they already toasted? People worry about finances, love, marriage, stuff like that, work. I worry about, like, why are we toasting bread? Mm -hmm. So I wonder if this island actually exists in the world with the other island, and if I can fly to the other island. But I don't think I can. There's some bells down here. What happens if we hit the bells? Oh, neat. Oh, thunk. And it rewinds you. There you go. So we're going to try to go hit all the bells, and then we'll wrap that up. Oh, man, so chill. It's nice to once in a while play a game where not everything's trying to murder you. Or you're trying not to murder everything in the case of Doom Eternal. That... Are they spinning like... Cr no. Is that it? Nothing? It just... Pleasant music. Look at those cactuses. Cacti? It's cacti when it's one of them, right? Look at those bells. Look at them go. They are so happy I hit them. I'm gonna go hit one of these bubbles, though. Some kind of weird tar pits over here. Now I'm all sticky and icky. Sticky icky. I bet you one of these waterfalls has something behind it because it's a video game and it's waterfalls. There's always something behind the waterfalls. But like I said before, uh, very chill game. Uh, very easy completion. 17 minutes probably at the max. Maybe a little longer if you have some issues finding stuff, but it uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Through here. Whee! He seems like a lot of drills that just kind of leave behind. I do like the concept of they dug way too deep and then they hit some kind of crazy uh, ice thing and it's just like... Oh, I'm the macaw again. Ugh. Go Google macaw screaming videos. Those things can be loud. Like crazy loud. 
Anyways, I am Azure JD. This is the XBLA Fans Channel. Thank you very much for watching me. Uh, pretty neat, relaxing game. Can I land on this? Yes, I can. Excellent. What's down there? Absolutely nothing. Thank you all and have a nice day. Goodbye. Relax and chill out. Bye-bye.